Mahambo. In this video I am going to do a quick tutorial for using Roll World Tiny Plant Photos and More app by Lee Wang uh, on the iPhone. This is not a paid promotion although if you see this Roll World get in touch. Uh, I had a question through my Facebook page which is www.facebook.com forward slash mrpsd80 uh, link in the description on how to use the app because I posted a photo that used the app and it looked pretty cool. Um, so someone's been in touch to ask how to use the app. So I was, try I was looking for a YouTube uh, video to direct the questionee, questioner, person with the question, what do you call it, um, to that video but uh, I couldn't find anything. So I've got Roll World app installed on my iPhone. Um, it's a free app and it also has a feature in where you pay a one off 99 pay in the UK charge to upgrade it to be able to play around with videos as well. I don't have that, I just have the free version. So let's get started. Um, to find the app on the iPhone, or the iPad, uh, you open the App Store and do a search for Roll World and on my search it's the first app that comes up. Uh, download the program and you are ready to rock and roll. So once you've downloaded the app, uh, open it up and you will be shown on the opening screen the first time you open the app um, some simple instructions of how to use the app, what the, what the buttons do um, and if you've got to that point and you've seen those things you may well now be turning off this video um, because it's fairly straightforward. So if that's you, thanks for watching, thanks for searching, give me a subscribe, check out my other videos, my time lapses etc and all of my other social media channels, Instagram, it's all in the description. If you're staying with me and you want to find out a bit more, you want to see what the app does, let's check it out now. Okay, so as you can see from the screen when you've opened it, we have a few different options. We have photo, video and camera mode and then at the top you've got settings, uh, information and news on Instagram. So we're going to take a look at a photo to start off with that's already on the camera. So if you click on photo, um, it will ask for access to photos, which you need to allow. Um, and then you can go and find a photo to have a play with in your camera roll. Click on the photo and it will open into the app. Um, what you will see is a distorted version of the photo that you have chosen. Now you can click and hold where the photo is and it will display you your original photo so you can see what's happening and if you let go it will go back to the distorted version. Now there's some buttons you can see underneath um, on the top line there if you move that left and right the photo will distort either have the middle of the photo on the outside or the outside of the photo in the middle. Next button down gives you like a shell effect. If you move that left and right you can increase the shell effect or decrease it slightly. Uh, the third button we have there um, allows you to rotate some of the photo around. If you just play with that you'll be able to see how that changes your photo. The fourth button there, uh, if you move that left and right, it will spin the photo uh, that you've created. Left will spin it left and right will spin it right. Uh, if you push up on the, the slider options there, you get two more options. Um, the second one from the bottom completely distorts the photo and makes it like rings of color based on the photo you've taken. So you can move that left and right to 
maximize that distortion or minimize it. And then the one at the bottom is basically a zoom in and out. So if you slide it to the right, it zooms right into the middle of your picture. And if you zoom it to the left, it zooms right out um, away from away from the picture and you can play around with that. What I tend to do as soon as I open a photo is I will go down to the bottom and choose the zoom in and out and I will set it about halfway so that I can see most of the photo and then that makes it easier to play with the other effects. And then what I will do after that is I will just play around with the other effects until something looks cool or until I have figured out that this is not a good photo for rolling up. If you go back to the top slider and move it to about halfway along, you'll be able to see there that you get two uh, distortions on the same screen. So you have half of the picture circled at the top and half of the picture circled at the bottom. And as you move left, one of those circles will become more prominent and as you go back to the right, the other circle will again become more prominent and you can decide if you want it halfway or all the way to one side or all the way to the other. So once you're happy with your photo, it's time to export it. So if you click the arrow on the top right hand side, you come up with some options here. And the third one down, which is the only one highlighted, um, if you click that, it will give you the options to save the photo, choose the image size, the photo you require, and then you can either save it to your camera roll or connect it to Twitter, or Facebook, etc. So that's the end of this little tutorial for Roll World app. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learned something, and I hope it helps you to create some cool pictures on this app. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other time lapses and other vlogs that I've been doing. Also don't forget to check out my Instagram and my Facebook page etc. All links in the description. I've also put a link in the description for the App Store so you can go directly from here and download the app. Okay that's it for this video so I'll see you all next time. Hakikonoweza tutuanana.